Welcome back everybody. You may remember here on the town hall earlier this year, we had our special series called Stop the Calls. There are a lot of efforts to combat robocalls. Just this week, Governor Kathy Hochul signed two new bills into law designed to help New Yorkers get some relief. But what about turning the annoying calls into cold, hard cash? That's a way to fight back. You're about to meet a woman who turned the spam into a car, a vacation, and some money for a rainy day. Lauren Lemanchek shares her story. You get the relentless robocalls and think, ugh, how annoying. Christy Von Dielen thought so too. Hello? Until she decided to do something about it. And I'll be like, oh, I got a live one. And fight back. I'm like, oop, cha-ching. From her home office, she finds the culprits and then demands they pay her. Ballpark. How much money have you gotten in settlements? After this one that I'm expecting that I just signed off on today, it's over $42,000. $42,000? We had to know how. Christy walked us through the process. It started with buying this kit, Doc Compton's turning robocalls into cash. For $47, it promises to help you stop the calls and start collecting. I'm thinking, is this thing real? Could it possibly work? For her, it did, but not right away. First check was $500. But how many hours did you have to spend to get that first $500? Well, like I said, it took six months. Here's the deal. It does require some time and effort. So today... Christy, who also has a full-time job, logs every call. The 12th. She even records them. Hey, this is Mike with Dealer Protection Services. And she plays along, trying to get a human so she can dig for intel. Are you still living in the state? Especially when you're beginning, it's a lot harder because you have to learn how to talk to these people in order to get the information you want and need. Then comes the sleuthing. Christy uses a virtual credit card number not tied to any bank account so she can see who tries to charge her. That's how she'll find out the company's actual name. It comes back as declined and we can see who tried to run our card. Then she finds an address and ships off a demand letter from Compton's kit. He says you'd be surprised how many companies try to settle. Believe it or not, these guys want to negotiate. They don't want to go to court because it number one, exposes their identity, which they don't want. Uh, and then also, too, it kind of opens the door for the feds to come in and examine their call records and their business practices. We are reaching you. Robocalls are illegal. IRS. So is calling someone on the do not call list, like Christie is. Thanks to the Federal Telephone Consumer Protection Act, robocallers can be on the hook for between $500 and $1,500 for every call. So if you log more calls from the same company, it's a bigger paycheck. As Christie's gotten better at the process, the checks have gotten bigger and easier to obtain. Some of them are really easy. She's bought a car. This I paid for in cash. Taken a trip to Costa Rica, paid down debt. We did pay off our camper. And found an online community of others making annoying robocalls work for them. We actually feel like we're like an army out there for the greater good. Fighting one robocall at a time. At this point, we just want our phones back. It's just wild. And Christy said that the Doc Compton kit helped her a lot, but it's something that anyone can do with some legal research. And of course, you got to invest the time. Especially at the beginning when right. you're not making a lot of money because there's the learning curve. Uh, this should make people feel pretty good, though. She says those auto warranty calls have brought her most of the money, the ones that we get incessantly. All the time, yeah. yeah.